Hey guys, good morning. Um, today we're going to be doing sort of an idea like if you're going to homecoming right now. Um, I wanted to kind of give you guys a look idea to, you know, and you don't have to follow it completely, but to give you an option. So, but first, before I get into any of it, you probably see me shaking it, shaking it around. I want to show you my nail color, okay? That is the prettiest nail color I've probably ever put on my nails. And you guys are probably going to be sick of me saying where it came from, but this is the brand called KL Polish. That's the one that Kathleen Lights runs. Um, I have, I've been babysitting, changing diapers, I took a shower this morning, which is why my hair's all funky, um, and it hasn't shipped once. So I think I would say that this is definitely approved by me. Um, I like that it's not, it's not a messy formula. And if you open the cap, which, I mean, that's really cute. It's all polka dots. Um, you get a pretty good size application brush. Um, I'm going to try to knock some of that off so it doesn't fall on my table. But it's a pretty good brush. And it applies the polish really well. So you actually don't have to do more than two coats. You should always do at least two but if you feel like it's still patchy go ahead for three and that's true of any nail polish but this is to all the proceeds go to breast cancer research now Kathleen Lies created this color because she had she had a family member who died from breast cancer um, for me personally, I have family on both sides where it runs in the family, so it's kind of like a double whammy. Um, but I mean, I would encourage if you see an OBGYN, get checked regularly, learn how to check for yourself at home, um, just be very wary of it and be careful out there. So. All right, that was that little PSA. <laughs> right okay, so right now I'm, I'm applying my foundation with my lovely e.l.f. Sp silicone dual-sided sponge. And I'm almost done, so I'm sorry that you didn't get to see that. Um, you know, my dog wanted out and the video was going too long anyway. So, I was going to do a chat to get ready, but I already know that it's going to take way too long if I start chatting. So, I will not do that. I'm going to move myself back a little bit so you can see my full face. But, today I am using the Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline, the Fit Me Foundations. Um... Anyway, this video is about homecoming, and, you know, I, I had a really bad experience at homecoming, like, my homecoming sucked, and I was like, I ain't going back to that crap, so, I didn't, um, it was over a dude, and totally lied to me about why he couldn't be with me on homecoming even though he asked me out to go you know so I was like well you're a douche um you know like it wasn't it was not a good reason and he was with a girl that he claimed he'd broken up with a while ago um he didn't so I eventually found out from the girl because I was like, look, he was supposed to be with me. What the heck? And pretty much the girl got blindsided. Like, she was like, what? I didn't know. And I'm like, well, yeah, I do now. 
She's like, yeah, he bought me this. And I'm like, for a dude that didn't have no money, he paying pretty good for that bracelet that she had. Um, I don't think so, okay? So, I was not happy. I was like, I'm out for blood now. Like, I was, uh, I was on someone you messed with back in high school. I was just like, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like, I was like mama bear for a lot of people. And I'm like, you mess with my kids, I'm gonna get you. You know, like, that. that's kind of the way I felt about it. Um, but no. Lil Punk went there and I found out later and was both hurt and very ticked off. I would think, like, in a just manner, of course. Um, in case you can't see this, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Fair. And I'm just going around the trouble areas that don't, you know, really get much in the way of coverage. So, this is a really good one. I would definitely recommend it. Um, you would go ahead and go back with your sponge and just use this side and blend it out. Grab your pointy end. And, um... So anyway, that's what happened there. So my homecoming experience sucked, but I'm hoping that by doing this with you guys, you'll have a you'll have a good experience. Cuz you know what? It's fun to get ready for it. It's it's not it's not bad. Um but anyway, yeah, there's that. So what I just put on, oh, I just told you what I put on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and go in on the NYX Dreamcatcher palette. I think I'm going to end up taking a brush on this one, so I'm going to take an e.l.f. highlighting brush. Or not highlighting, eyeshadow brush. Y'all knew what I was talking about. You've seen them before. So I'm going to use this white right here. And apply that a little bit over the entire lid area. Really get it covered on the brush. And bring it on right here. I think now I can zoom, zoom you in a little more so you can see what's going on. Okay. So that's pretty good. So you do want to gently, gently do this. Coat the brush again and just very lightly go over the lid. Let's do that. And as you can see, it does brighten up the lid a little bit. Get more for the other eyelid. And it's just, it's a nice color range. So, and I'm trying to sit up for you guys so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry if I'm not fully in good posture. I had scoliosis a while back, so it always hurts my back to do that for long periods of time. But that's not something you need to worry about. So, ah, something be trying to crease on me. Now, cool. Alright, so we have that. And we're going to go in with a different shade, but first I forgot to do my brows, but I will do those off camera later because they actually look pretty good right now. So I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to go ahead and put on this kind of goldy looking shade right here. I wish they had names. I am so sorry that they don't. Um, I'm going to go in with the same brush. Coat it. 
in the powder. Knock off any excess if you need to. And we're focusing just on the lid right now. And we're just gonna... I'm taking a little more pressure. And at this point, you might want to use your fingers. Like, I'm going to in about a minute since this is not doing exactly what I want it to do. So I'm going to take my fingers. I'm going to dive right into that color. Saturate my finger. And as you can see in comparison, that we've got that going on. So put a little bit more on okay go ahead and do it on the other eye so we're even and definitely just keep on adding okay so you see that touch of gold going on there this is where I'm going to go ahead and go into the e.l.f. Baked palette. So we were going for that goldy theme. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this guy right here. It looks a lot darker on camera. It's not, I promise. And then we'll go in with another nudie shade. So definitely I'm going to cover my finger. Pull up my mirror here. Why the heck did I do that? You have a mirror in you, girl. Oh, it's one of those mornings. So take your coated finger and go over that. Definitely go over that. So you see how it looks right there? Going to go ahead and coat my finger for the other eyelid here. I apologize if I ever look like I'm flipping off. I'm really not. So, sorry. Um, now what I want to do is go into this really light gold shade. I'm going to use a different finger, don't worry. So, it's a little bit of gold with a little bit of reflective. I'm going to load your finger with that. And really... Go over it. Because you do want to have that full effect. So just keep on rubbing. And add on to the eyelid here. Okay. Now what I want to do is take this kind of highlighty color. I'm going to combine this one and this one together. So we're going to go ahead with the middle one. Just coat your finger and go for that highlighting bone. The eyebrow bone. Okay, just keep on going. And back on this eye here. Okay, got that. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in on this purpley shade right here. I'm going to go ahead and use my middle finger again. I just wiped it off. So I'm going to go ahead and gather a little bit of pigment from it. And... I'm actually going to put this all over the lid, not just in a certain area of it. You can't really see it doing too much, but it is. And then take a little bit more. You guys are probably like, why you need that shimmer palette? But that one's just for fun. So... Just keep on going. This is the problem with baked stuff. But, oh well. And then, 
pièce de résistance. I'm going to go in with that silver shade. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use different finger. Maybe even my pinky for this one. But I'll go with one of the other ones. And this is a silver with almost like a blue reflective. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. Mostly to the outer corner and into the crease a little bit. Got a little bit of fallout. Just wipe it away and really get into where you want to go with it. I know there's like so many steps. Sorry about that. So just gently with your finger smoke it out with that color, very gently, and we're going to do that. I'm going to go back into the purple shade and try to like diffuse this. Okay, so this is where you probably want to go in with an eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to blend it out. Now, I think we're done with the baked. We're going to go back into the NYX palette. And I'm actually going to do a very light version of this shade with this shade on top. Just to keep things from going crazy. So pick that up. Add a darker tone right there. And just go ahead and add a little bit more. Just like, look just like that. Dip in and go to your other eye. And now you see that it's been diffused a little bit. Because sometimes you can go a little crazy with that. So we're going to go into that lighter shade as promised. And definitely add that into our brow and crease. There we go. And so this is what the eyes look like. I think that's a pretty darn good natural homecoming look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and apply my mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my mascara is on and just to let you know, I used the Waterproof Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's really good and it does, it is waterproof, so definitely know that. Um, I'm going to be using for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Pink Diamonds. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Powder Blush Palette. This is, it does come with a mirror. Um, and it's just one of those really, really pretty shades. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm going to dip into the lightest color right here and just really gently tap it to in the product and knock off any excess. And you, the way that you get a proper blush application is you smile so the apple of your cheeks shows. So here it is. See how that is? Like, it's really, really pretty. And it totally does a little bit of extra pigment for you. And we will get into your lipstick options in just a moment. Okay, so there's the blush. I'm sorry, two lids are, or two lashes are trying to stick together over there. For the highlighter, as I said, it's e.l.f. and it's pink diamonds. It's also a baked item. 
and I'm gonna take my e.l.f. highlighting brush and just really coat it in the highlighter so it's, it's very very coated I'm gonna take my mirror up again smile and apply Now you're definitely going to want to go a couple coats on this one because you can't always see it. But I think we're seeing it now. Yes, we are. All right. So just keep on going. Okay. A little bit more just for the heck of it. Okay, and then there is still a little bit of excess, so if you're one of those people that goes down the nose into the area, you are more than welcome to do that. However, I do not. So, we're going to go ahead and go into the lips. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you a little bit out. You don't need to be seeing my lips all up and... You know. Okay, so the two options that I would say would work really well with this look are the Maybelline 540 Peach Buff. I will go ahead and show you that one really fast. It's a, it, it's a pinky kind of nude, so it looks like this. It smells really good, by the way, too, but this is Maybelline. So there's that shade right there. And then, I have an e.l.f. lippy pencil. It's in the shade Bull Red. And it looks a lot like this. I'll take the cap off here. And that color selection, it looks exactly like that. So, but if you want to go for that not so bold application, but still really pretty, you can totally do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the Peach Buff by Maybelline and you know what I think that's gonna be a really cool look for this so I'll go ahead and bring it back out so here we are okay rub your lips together Okay, so now you have a really, really subtle, yet not so subtle. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in so you can see it. So this is the shade, and honestly, I think it works perfectly for if you're going to homecoming because you don't have to be like super, I'm going to zoom you out again, you don't have to be like super glammed or anything like that. Like, you don't have to. Um, and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and show my hair. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I had had a thought to do this where I showed you a hair look, but, I mean, might as well rock that curly hair when you got it, right? So, this is the look. I am going to set it with some setting spray. Sorry, that was a, uh, an alarm. Hopefully that doesn't flag me for the, like, two seconds it was on. But, here we go. If you were wondering what setting spray I just used, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. And it's really, really good. It's definitely a... Well, it's definitely an option that you have. I got mine at Target. You can do that there or you can order it on Wet n Wild's website. But yeah, I think this is a really good look for homecoming. And again, it's very natural, very subtle, and it will go with anything. Okay, guys, so this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you got any inspiration from this, 
let me know down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys did with it. Um, if you really liked what you saw and you liked other videos that I watch or that I make as well as watch, um, please go ahead and hit subscribe. If you would click on that bell for me, that will notify you every time that I'm posting a new video. And I think you might be happy with what we're going to come up with. So definitely check that out. And I will see you next time. Bye, Beauty Minute family.